My name's Pete. I'm going to teach you how to fix your speed tube air leaks. These are common leaks with these tubes and I've had two give me trouble and warranties take forever to come. These tubes have overlapping seams that are heat welded together all the way down except at the tip. There's a different kind of weld there and also a little hole at the very tip. This is for reinserting your tube with a long stick. But going back down to the problem in, these overlapping seams, which overlap about one inch, in this area right here, there's three layers. And that lets air get through the fabric between the two layers of PVC and then create either a hernia bubble or just leak out the end. My first one had the hernia bubble and it requires a traditional patch. But after that patch, there's a little lip between the two fabric layers and air was weeping through that. I used this process. It's been two years that that's working fine. This one's now leaking after I took it out of a long winter in the shed. And I don't know why it started leaking, but it is. So here's how you do it. Fill it up with air pressure, 3.4 PSI. Look for the leak using a spray bottle with a little soap. This is the area that I've always had trouble with. My dealer says this is very common. Most tubes do this. And that's the bubble. It's a very small, slow bubble. So wipe the soap off, clean it, and you're gonna put tube seal inside this air tube in this area. There's a little squirt nozzle, and luckily for you, the speed tube comes with an easy fill filler port to make this an easy, easy repair. The whole process shouldn't take more than a half hour. So with the, seat, the leaking spot down, your valve out, you're going to squirt some tube seal in. I kind of give it a one-two squirt. It's pretty runny. It squirts pretty fast. And you want it to collect down at the bottom where the leak was. Now keep in mind, where the bubbles were coming out is not where you're going to need to get the, this tube seal. You're going to need it within a couple inches of that area, but you need to be able to squish it around. So, squirt some in, let it flow down through the tube. You can even blow in the tube a little bit to make sure you blow it all into the tube. And then you're going to squish it around down there. Keep in mind it's about a two inch area completely around where the air leak is that you want to get that tube seal so you know that you're you're covering that raw cloth that is exposed inside i'm talking about the membrane between the two pvc layers that the fabric's made out of after you do that put air in it only takes a couple minutes here's how mine looks after about three minutes See the blue stuff? That's the tube seal coming out. Now, I don't know why mine's blue this time, but it is. So it's wicked the glue into that cloth fabric. Take, let the air burp out of it and you're done. Let it sit overnight and you're good to go. It's as simple as that. If this video was a help, hit the like button or subscribe. And I'm going to have future videos showing how I've customized my boat to be very comfortable and still be easily built by one person. I'll also have videos on the lakes and rivers I go to, how to get there, and what to expect when you get there. Have a great summer!